Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the Zook Prime. So since the Prime Resurgence has returned, um, Wukong and what's Equinox name? Equinox Prime and Wukong Prime has returned. So uh, they are available in the Prime Resurgence and since Zook Prime and all of these other weapons like Stardivar, Tapito and the Nikondo, Nikondeo Prime or whatever how you say it, honestly. Sound like I'm saying something else, but anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys a build for Zoo Prime, all right, since it's back out. So, starting off, this weapon is actually really good. Um, it's a bow weapon, of course, but it has a little bit of difference from the Zoog to now the Prime version because the Prime version now explodes, and I'm sure the, the original Zoog was not doing that, so yeah. But the Zoo Prime is not bad of a weapon. All right, you should definitely pick this up. Um, and then, you know, it's up to you. But definitely, I'm gonna show you guys that this weapon can really pack some damage into it. So starting off with the stats, of course, we have fire rate is 5.50. All right, it's got a great ammo maximum and a great uh, ammo pickup. I see that they added that now because there's an AOE change. Magazine is 30 and reload is 3. So everything is pretty great. Um, we got critical chance, 26%, two times the grip multiplier, status, 30% as well, so not bad critical chance, not bad grip multiplier, and great status. All right, and then impact, puncture, slash, all looking pretty great as well. Not too bad, but not too good. And then you have the radio attack, which is the explosion damage, so that means that galvanized uh, aptitude would not be working on this build. Here's my build. I'm using Galvanized Chamber, 80% multi-shot on kill, 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. So you're stacking at 5 times, 30% multi-shot on that. Infected Clip, 90% Toxin. We have Stormbreaker, 90% Electricity. Critical Delay, 200% Critical Chance. Uh, it also decreases fire rate for, uh, by 20% and then 2 times for bows. Do we count this as a... Technically, we don't count this as a bow, correct? So it wouldn't lower the fire rate that much. Hmm. Don't really care. Vital Sense, 120% critical damage. All right? Great mods that we have on here. The next few mods that I'm going to use for this weapon is... Starting off with the Bane mods. Any of the faction mods you have here, we're using that. So, great. Uh, Grenier is on here. We're also going to be using the over here why did it change that blade rounds Blade rounds gives you on kill 120% critical damage when aiming for nine seconds all right the next thing that we're going to use the last mod is you know any of these toxic electricity or toxic mods basically but then 60 60 mods I'll just do one here as well all right it gives you 48% status and 60% more electricity damage so more Corrosive damage on this build. And the arcane that we're going to be using today is Primary Merciless. Now, again, that I do want to add in here is that they took off the 100% ammo maximum. I think it's because the AOE changes again. They just decided to discard that. So, that really does suck. Rank 5 on kill, 30% damage for 4 seconds. Stacks up to 12 times and you get 30% reload speed. At least you get to keep that though. That's a big factor right there that I love. But... It does suck that the 100% uh, ammo maximum had to go because of AOE changes. But still a great arcane to use, honestly. Nevertheless. But as you can see, amazing damage at the start. And then as they explode, it just gets even better. Yeah, insane damage. And you can see the slash in there as well. Like, everything just worked out so perfectly when doing damage with this weapon. I really have to say, again, great weapon. And uh, the 90 mods just worked perfectly. I used to use the 60 mods, but I was like, man, let's just throw on more of the... Let's do more damage with the 90 mods and see if we could try to get more damage out of it. And yes, we did a whole lot more damage. So... Um, yeah, that was actually perfect. Like I always put in the primary weapon builds, if you use carry prime, but the prime laser rifle or super prime does not matter. You just need these three mods on. Vigilante armaments, offense, and fervor. And once you have those on, 
you can do increased critical chance. So, yeah. Now you can get to do uh, critical chance damage, too. Oh, great. So now you're going to see orange crits. Yep. And that just did a whole lot more damage. So, when taking this weapon to the steel path, it's actually doing amazing damage. Um, yeah, it's not actually not bad for steel path. But, uh, I mean, there's better weapons out there that I rather would take instead of this weapon. But overall, not a bad weapon, of course. So... If you are a fan of the Zoo Prime, or if you were a fan of the Zoo, then you'll love the Zoo Prime, I should say. Because the Zoo Prime definitely gives off a better damage than the original Zoo. Even though I never actually touched the original Zoo before, or maybe I have. But I might be confusing that with the Atika, which is not the same as the Zoo. But most definitely a better version of the, um, whole lot better than the Azuk. So, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this build. And if you didn't, then please do not say anything. That's all for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.